Thank you. Ms. Natalia, Thanks. welcome. Welcome, Ms. Natalia. Think about it. Of course you will. Pardon. <laughs> ah! Welcome, Natty. Thank you. I hope I'm not bothering you, Sharon. You never bother me. Mr. Barak, Natalia Varal, my sister. My pleasure. Same here. Ms. Sharon. I'm sure I can make the other buyers wait. Easily. Thanks for your hard work. Mm, you take care. Have a seat. <sighs> Nati, Mr. Barak has a lovely glass workshop for sale. You're gonna love it, I think. Maybe you'll buy it. <laughs> Nati. What's wrong? I'm working through some things. Is it Celine? Oh, please don't tell me something happened. No, don't worry, she's fine. Then what's the problem? I don't understand. Why you stay in this hotel when we have such a big house? We already talked about this. You know that I don't want to bother you guys. <sighs> what makes you think you'll be a bother to us? Never mind the hotel. What's wrong? You seem <sighs> troubled. Anna, I feel so sorry when I see you like this. Don't do this. You'll be with someone soon. Someone nice. Someone who really loves you, who will take care of you. No way. Of course you will. I believe a person only falls in love once, Melissa. Come on, don't say that. It's true. I would have given my right arm for Kareem. That kind of love only happens once. I used my chance on him. I laid down my life for him. All that's left is a scar. So what? Will you spend your life alone from now on? No, I won't. I won't remain alone, but... I will never be in love again. That's ridiculous. You'll fall in love again. But you have to summon it. Love won't come if you don't ask. <sighs> don't you have her address? Maybe in her application form. Please check. Unfortunately, Mr. Ken, we don't have those forms. Do you have her phone number? Sorry, no. Fine, thank you. Take care. Sir, just, just a second, please. She once gave me her friend's phone number. That's great. I hope I have it here. <laughs> Let's hope so. I can't enter this tournament without Coach Anna's help. She's the best. We know. We're sorry she left too. We hope she returns. Let's see if I have it here. Anna's friend. Huh. Here. You should stay with me tonight. Who's this? Hello? Hello. Is this Ms. Melissa? Yes, it is. And who's calling? I'm Ken Varal. Oh, Camberal, who? Have we met, Mr. Ken? No, we haven't. I'm a friend of Anna's. Don't. Just don't. Oh, okay. Are you really? Um, I can't reach Anna. She's changed her phone number. I wanted to know if you had it. I have it, but I don't know, Mr. Ken. Look, I really have to reach her. She's quit her job. I'm worried. I'll be very happy if you can help me. Well, Mr. Ken, Anna is with me right now. What are you? Just talk. Hello, Ken. Anna. I was so scared that I wouldn't reach you.
isn't this something you already knew? You told me so. You didn't like him from the beginning. But I thought it was settled after he signed the prenup. Isn't that so? That boy made me believe that he loved her, Sharon. This letter proves that he doesn't. You're so right. You're feeling like he cheated you, don't you? I do. So you're back where you started. What's the problem now? The last test results were good. Celine will most likely get better very soon. But Celine believes that this man is really her partner in life. I can't just tell her the truth about him. She might get sick again. Oh, God forbid. How will I let this cheat live in my very own house and as my beloved daughter's husband, no less? You're right. There's a traitor among you. Kareem? What are you doing here all alone, man? Nothing. Shall we go someplace and talk? Let's go talk. Reading that letter has changed everything. I used to think of him as an opportunist. How can I explain this after he swore he loved her? I just don't understand why he would write this after signing the prenup. He must have something planned, something bad. What's he up to? I need to know. I have to find out, but I can't be with him all the time. So what do you plan to do now? What should I do? Alex, I'll cut to the chase. Have you seen Anna? I ran into her recently. Was she okay? Her mother said horrible things. She said she tried to kill no herself. No way, don't be ridiculous. Anna wouldn't do such a thing. Her mother said that. Look, she just said that to worry you, man. <sighs> well, she did. I was really worried. She quit her job. Yeah. So that she wouldn't run into you there. Her words, man. What would she do if she did? She was upset, but she told me... She's over it, Kareem. She's completely written you off now. Are you sure? Of course I am. Kareem, listen. I'm your friend. You made yourself a choice. I don't know if what you did was right or wrong, but what's done is done. You told Anna too. There's no turning back now. You have to move on. Just do what you gotta do, man. But... Just forget about Anna. You'll say it's love. I know you'll say you're still in love with her, but... Hey, we all move on, okay? I know, yes. We all move on. Besides, Anna deserves someone better. Somebody who wouldn't have given in to his pity. Love, pity, or something else. You keep changing your story, man. I don't know either. But I learned this. To love a woman with pity? is worse than true love. It's different. There's nothing in the world like love. Nothing at all. Who knows, you may be right. It's all true, it's true. <sighs> From now on, everything will be as it should. That's good. I wonder what kind of disaster is waiting for me at home. What's that? It's nothing, man. Never mind, Alex. See ya. <laughs> 